Hey everybody, what's up? Mr. Hancock here. Um, now we're starting Unit 2 here in English Lit. We're moving now into the Renaissance and Reformation. Uh, obviously, this is not the full-blown Italian Renaissance. We're talking about the English uh, Renaissance. So let's click into this. We'll have week 5 ready, so that's what I'm going to look at real quick. Um, so, in this unit, we are, or excuse me, this week for week 5, we are going over um, Thomas Wyatt, and we are dealing with just a few of his poems. So the reading... The readings aren't really that um, detailed as far as like reading big hunks of like say you know a novel or something like that or a play. So the reading is pretty light on this. So what I expect is for you all to mainly use this time here to spend watching this PowerPoint video that we have I found on I've actually used for a while now on YouTube. Um, it's really really good um, and it's it's thorough. Um, I didn't do it. Um, and it's about 30 minutes, um, so the bottom line is I know a lot of folks don't like to watch videos on YouTube or anything past 10 minutes or something like that. Um, considering this is a college course, you're going to have to, if you were in class, you'd be sitting there listening to a lecture possibly for an hour. So take the time, sit down, pay attention to this video and watch it. It's very interesting. It gives a lot of great history and context as to what's going on. And then you're moving into, you know, there's a introduction for Thomas Wyatt, and then you have his poems. You have um, uh, My Lute Awake, and the lute is, it looks a lot like a guitar. So, and then uh, Blame Not My Lute and Farewell Love. Um, so, going to this, what we're dealing with here, and I think this is interesting to see, is that, and you know, the video, other video will talk about this some, but um, the, the English Renaissance is late compared to the Italian Renaissance. They were too busy fighting a war with a um, France and then within themselves, uh, Civil War, really. And so when it finally comes in, uh, we have a big focus, um, in a way, even with the plays, we have a focus on folks trying to avoid um, putting a lot of political or religious content in there. And so there was a focus now, I think, is where you're going to really see it come to life um, later in the Romantic period, which we're not going to get to cover in this class. Uh, but this is the beginnings of what I think is when we're moving away from that mindset of the Middle Ages and the medieval times into more of a, um, something is focused on aesthetics, something is focused more on art, and something is focused on the human emotion. Something that's much more, I guess you can say secular in a sense. It's focused on me and, and myself and, and what I'm experiencing and how we see the human condition come through that. And so when you look at this here, these are um, love poems, okay? Yes, we understand that. But the, the, the idea of it being a love poem is not just, oh yeah, this guy's messed up over some girl. You know, it's not that. It's look at it really and see what is it saying about the person? What is the person dealing with? How is the person making it through? Because a lot of this, what we see is it teaches us what it means to be human and how, what we experience others are experiencing it as well. And so this is when we're starting to see this type of, um, I know we've seen like, you know, we even saw it in Sir Gowan and you go on, you can read Chaucer, you can see it and beyond, even in The Wanderer, you, we see that loss of, of love in a way. Um, but here's when we're seeing something that's really focused on the person, the individual, um, and experiencing that. And even with the lute, the idea of the lute playing, uh, and I misspelled that, my Luke, it's my lute. Um, that will be fixed by the time y'all see this video. But um, not right there, my Luke. <laughs> it's my lute, L-U-T-E. Uh, but um, the idea of a lute is it makes music. And so where what does that really mean for anything when we're making music? Um, a music... Um, obviously, it's um, a sounds put together that are pleasing to the ears and that invoke uh, or evoke uh, a type of emotion uh, or some type of emotional response with us. I mean, just think about what music really does for you. Uh, even if you put it on the radio in the car or if you're watching a movie, how powerful is music? And what if there was no music? Um, how would it really affect that experience? And so music has that, that emotional effect on a human being. And so we see here, and that's what there is. There's a focus here of my lute awake. There's a focus on that, the idea of music and how it brings about a specific emotional response. And even with blame not my lute, it's kind of, I was talking about it a few minutes ago with a colleague. It's like, it was like, hey, you know, don't get mad at my guitar. Don't, you know, don't blame my guitar or my, my music for being, you know, amazing and really, you know blowing you away kind of attitude, I guess you could say. Um, so when you go into reading those, don't simply go, all right, this is a love poem, this guy's upset. 
Look deeper into it and consider how, how, what does it say about being a human and dealing with love. Not just love, but loss. And, and this is really focusing also on something called an, un, the unrequited love, which is something that was really focused upon in the um, Middle English. But here you got to see it's like, especially in, um, you know, Farewell Love and uh, My Lute Awake, it's the idea of, you know, I'm trying to get this person to love me. I'm trying to get this person to see him, but they won't. So it's like this unreturned love. I'm giving all this love and I'm not getting it back. And so our reactions and our feelings to how that, that really matters there. And y'all, I really like looking at this stuff here because it's something me personally, when I look at ancient literature and, and even just, you know, the turn of the millennium and even just centuries back, it's neat to see, wow, that people back then, you know, of course they're humans, of course they feel what I feel, but man, the stuff that I feel, and not, not necessarily this, but anything, but, you know, wow, they, they've experienced those problems too. They've seen that too. They they have the same questions I do, you know, so that's how it should affect us in that sense, okay? All right, so here for this unit, when you go into reading these, think about that. Um, use the, I don't have the discussion board put up just yet, but use the discussion board to help guide you in your readings as well. Um, watch that video. Like I said, it's about 30 minutes. Make notes, look at it, read your introductions. Um, obviously, always follow your checklist, all right? And uh, if you have any questions, uh, let me know and have a good day.